Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is uh, day seven of the June Nico Day Challenge. The like button and subscribe on Drummer and Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. And today we have a medium poem, uh, apparently one that we've done recently ish, enough for it to be on my cash anyway. Didn't really look at it. Uh, yeah, today is Saturday ish, depending on when you watch this. Uh, it was Friday night here in New York City. Still is, I suppose. Uh, I ran about three and a half, four miles today, just very casual, very easy, just trying to get myself mentally into doing more and more uh, mileage. But also, honestly, I drank a little bit too much last night, so we'll see what happens to this video, where we'll see. I'm uh, just celebrating uh, uh, the birthday of a, a friend, so I you know, had a little bit too much fun. So that's it. We'll see how it goes. If this video is a little bit subpar, well, I mean, we did, clearly did the uh, problem... Oh, I was gonna say recently, but that was literally a year ago. So, oh, time flies. Time passes by. Time flies. All the good things, right? So let's take a look at it. Thirty-one seventy lexicographically minimum string after removing stars. Okay, you're given a string S. We turn. Uh, it may contain any number of star characters. Your task is to remove all, all star characters. Well, does the star do the following? We delete the leftmost star. Okay. And then this, and the smallest non-star character to the left. If there's several smallest characters, you may delete any of them. Okay. We don't know lexicographically. Okay. I mean, then I would say there's almost no decision, right? Uh, it's just what I mean by that is there's, there's no choice. Almost, almost, right? In that when you see a left star, you remove the the smallest non-star, right? However. The only choice is that if there's several of them, you may delete any of them. Um, and of course, this is we, we talked about this all week about lexicographically smallest. So um, I may not go into it in that much detail about what lexicographically smallest means. But suffice to say, it is going to be greedy, right? And the greedy is in the way that, okay, well, if there are two characters that are the same, well, which one do we delete? The one that's earlier or the one that's later? Um, and of course, there could be n uh, k number of them, but for you know, without loss of generality, you, there's a transitive e property thing there, so you could kind of keep going. So we will just do two of them. And of course, there's an earlier one and a later one. Of course, you want to remove the later one because, um, by definition, you're removing the smallest character. So removing it from a later will give you a. Um, uh, uh, a lexicographically smallest one. And of course, I say that out loud in English, but you can also just um, just go with some examples, right? And I, for these things, I like to kind of do uh, numbers, but I guess we don't have to for visualization, right? Like, let's say you have, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, you have one B there, or one A there, one B, one A there, right? And it's a simple thing. Just try, okay, well, do I remove the beginning one uh, and, and get up with this or or uh, end with this, or do we remove the later one, which ends with this? And it's a simple procedure, right? You can see that we want to remove the later one. And that's basically it. Uh, with greedy things, they're really, because um, the core idea of these, these greedy things is this exchange principle. Uh, and with exchange principle, you really don't need that many examples if you're able to kind of um, distill the problem to its core in a way such that you're able to do the exchange, right? And that's basically the idea. Um, so then now the question is, of course, now that we know we want to remove the, the one that's latest that we've seen, then what do we do? Uh, if you can't do it in a very naive way, you go, okay, maybe you would write something like n is equal to length of s, and then for i in range of n, uh, if s sub i is equal to uh, the star character, then now just like, I don't know, what, I mean, I'm gonna, it's not a real code, but we move closest smallest, right? And of course, uh, from, I don't know, we're not going to implement this, but in theory, you can implement this in O of n times. That's the naive way, that's the straightforward way, but that's going to be n squared, right? Because this is O of n, and this is O, of, and you could, and even if you don't want to analyze it, you can construct a, uh, an example pretty quickly. You may have like A, 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 uh, uh, 
you know, this one will go look back one, this one maybe look back, I don't know. I guess if you if you a little bit efficient, maybe it could be good, but if you just do a naive full loop back, it could be n square. But still, right? So then what can we do? Uh, I guess that's part of the what we're trying to do is, um, well, we can think about things in a heap, right? Uh, if we have things in a heap, because we are repeatedly trying to get the smallest of something, that's how I have the, this intuition of using a heap. I repeatedly want to keep on doing the smallest of something, right? Um, and here we want to say the smallest lexicographically, which is the smallest character, if you will. But then the tiebreaker is the latest, right? So, so that's basically how we're going to have it. So maybe we have a heap is you go to, you know, just in a way, um, if we let's pass this for now if it's not a star then we put in the heap right so we heap q dot heap push of um h and then now again we want the character so it's going to be s sub i and then we want just the index but of course we want to uh we want to to we want quote unquote the smallest to be the one that's closest to what we've seen so we're going to be negative i just to invert the i direction, right? Because we want the largest i, because that's going to be the most recent that we've seen. And then now here, we just have to basically pop the heap, and that's it, right? So heap, duh, 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 h, and that'll give us the character, which is fine. And then the index, technically, because index will be negative index, right? And then that's it. And then maybe we, now that we know that we have to remove it, we just maybe have like a, a um, I don't know, like a set, right? So we move to zero set. You can also use like a boolean something, I think. I mean, it depends on how you want to do it. Right, and that's it. And then now, at the very end, we just do one more pass of, um, yeah, answer, right? So if S sub i is not equal to do 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 do, and uh, i is not in removed, then answer the append S sub i, and then we just return, oops, and then we just return you know, the string that is an S, uh, answer, and that's it, hopefully. Uh, yep, looks okay. Let's give it a quick submit, and hopefully I don't have silly mistakes. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Apparently this is a little bit slower than I would like, hmm. But should be okay, right? I mean, I think there's one thing that, uh, so, okay. So what's the complexity here? We could talk about how we can optimize this, right? Uh, this is going to be all of n number of iterations for each of those iterations we do log n uh, number of operations because of heap right heap is log n it's going to be n log n so can we do a little bit better i think so right um there are a couple of ways you can write this i'm not going to do it because like i said i've been um it's late in the day it's 2 20 p.m or a.m sorry uh, here in New York, I got home late, uh, and I want to pass out. But here, I do recommend you observing a little bit just to practice it, um, and I'll give you some ideas, right? One is, for example, well, this is going to be n log n. Can we reduce it to n log um, n log alpha, right? Where alpha is the number, uh, uh, the size of the alphabet. And if you can, then, well, alpha is 26. Log of 26 is going to be way smaller than log n. And that is basically just putting up some ideas of um, even just a heap, right? Just we just keep track of the character. And then inside that character, you can have a stack or something to get you the last index that you've seen of that character. And then and that will allow you to get all of n log alpha, right? And that's it. Um, not good. I mean, I don't know. What did, what did I do last time? I think I probably did it during the contest last time. And during the contest, there's no, yeah. There's no chance that I was going to do something that crazy. Uh, but, oh, no, 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 I did do something that crazy. Huh. So I guess, all right, spoiler alert, my fault. Uh, huh. During the contest, I did do something where I, I uh, uh, do log alpha. So I guess I did do that. Uh, okay, so I lied. I don't know if I did this during live during the contest, but okay. You, Spoiler alert if you actually want to do it that way, but that's what I did. So, okay. So, if you want to watch that video, you want to do it that way, that's great too. And that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.